Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CH Certification Program by EC Council. Module Session Hijacking, Section Session Hijacking Tools. These are some of the popular session hijacking tools. Burp Suite, OWASP, Jira Proxy, Canonable, Hamster and Ferret, and these are the other tools. We are going to have a brief discussion of all these tools. Burp Suite or Burp is a graphical tool for testing security of web applications. This tool is written in Java and developed by Port Suite. It's part of Kali tools. Burp Suite comes with free edition with essential manual tools. Burp Suite Professional Edition includes advanced tools, vulnerability scanner, along with essential manual tools. Professional Edition can be tried for 14 days with full functionality. These are the tools in Burp Suite Proxy, Spider, Scanner, Intruder, Repeater, etc. We're going to have a demo of these tools soon. Jet Attack Proxy or JD Proxy from OWASP. JDA proxy is most popular free security tool which automatically finds security vulnerabilities in your web applications while you are developing and testing your applications. It's a great tool for experienced penetration testing and uh, security testing. Canable is a password recovery tool for Microsoft Windows. It allows easy recovery of various kinds of passwords by sniffing the network Cracking encrypted passwords using dictionary, brute force, and cryptanalysis attacks. Recording wipe conversations, decoding scrambled passwords, recovering wireless network keys, revealing password boxes, uncovering cached passwords, and analysis of routing protocols. These all can be done with the CAN and Able. It covers some security aspects and weakness present in protocol standards. Hamster and Ferret. These two tools work together. Hamster is a tool for sidejacking and is available in Kali Linux by default. It acts as a proxy server that replaces cookies with session cookies stolen from someone else, allowing you to hijack their sessions. Cookies are sniffed using the Ferret program, which is also available by default in Kali Linux. This is a Java hijacking tool for web application session security assessment. A simple Java fuzzer that can be mainly used for numeric session hijacking and parameter enumeration. Latest release is in 2015, released under GNU GPL version 2. Attercap. This is a comprehensive suite for man in the middle attacks. It features sniffing of live connections, content filtering on the fly and many other tricks. It supports active and passive dissection of many protocols and includes many features for network and host analysis. The latest Ethercap is released in 2015. DSNIF is a collection of tools for network auditing and penetration testing. DSNIF, file snarf, mail snarf, message snarf, URL snarf, and web spy passively monitor a network for interesting data that is passwords, emails, files, etc. This NIF is written by Doug Song and latest release is in 2000 and version is 2.3. Fiddler, Telerik Fiddler. This is a free web debugging proxy for any browser, any system, any platform. The features of this Fiddler include web debugging, HTTP, HTTPS traffic recording, web application testing, performance testing, and web session manipulation. Latest release is in 2016 and version is 4.6.x. Further information on Fiddler is, it's a HTTP debugging proxy server application written by Eric Lawrence. Fiddler captures HTTP and HTTPS traffic and locks it for the user to implement man-in-the-middle interception using self-signed certificates. Fiddler can also be used to modify HTTP traffic for troubleshooting purposes as it is being sent and received. Any browser or web application and most mobile devices can be configured to route its traffic through the Fiddler. First release is in 2003, 
and in 2012 Fiddler was acquired by Telerik and Eric continued there. 2015 Eric left Telerik in favor of Google's Chrome security team. Telerik continues developing Fiddler now. FireShip is Firefox extension that uses a packet sniffer to intercept unencrypted session cookies from websites. The plugin eavesdrops on Wi-Fi communications, listening for session cookies, detects session cookie and captures session ID. The collected identities are displayed in a sidebar in Firefox and by clicking on victim's name, the victim's session is taken over by the attacker. Cookie Catcher is an open source application that exploits accesses vulnerabilities, that is cross-site scripting within web applications to steal user session IDs, that is session hijacking. These are some of the cookie catcher features. Prepared payloads to steal cookie data, just copy and paste payload into accesses vulnerability, send email notification when new cookies are stolen and uh, others. We are going to have a demo on this soon. Tamper IE. This is from Baden. Tamper IE is lightweight web penetration testing. This is a simple Internet Explorer browser help object BHO, which allows lightweight tampering of HTTP request from IE5 and above. Perjack is from PacketStorm. This is a TCP session hijacking tool written in Perl. It does a man in the middle attack, displays all active sessions and takes over the selected TCP session. Surfjack. This is the oldest tool and not actively maintained, but it's a useful tool. It's able to hijack a cookie for various sites, some of which make use of HTTPS, and allows the tester to log in as a victim. Zuggernaut is from security team. This is a network sniffer used for session hijacking. It runs on Linux versions only. Beyond security offers network testing tools and vulnerability scanner. Charles Web Debugging Proxy is a cross-platform HTTP debugging proxy server application. Charles is an HTTP proxy, HTTP monitor and reverse proxy. This is Web Debugging Proxy written in Java. Latest release is 4.2, released in 2017. Features include network message analysis, XML, JSON, SOAP interpretation, SSL debugging, bandwidth throttling, flash development aids, etc. Some other tools. DroidShip is an Android tool for web session hijacking, sidejacking, that captures session ID by listening to the wireless conversations. This APK was made available on Google Play, but it has been taken down by the Google. Thanks for watching.